she's a fighter. She's a, a warrior. Um, made me a better person. Nate Kazarian is mourning the loss of his wife, Shalise. She passed away over the weekend after a long battle with colon cancer. My wife was loved. I, she was so humble about it, but she'd roll her eyes when I told her you're a hero. The couple joined the lawsuit against the state over the legislature's replacement of Proposition 2. She used cannabis to help in her treatment. It changed everything when she got that. She was able to walk again, she quit throwing up, she could hold down food. Um, it, was, it was almost like it was a miracle. But Kazarian says the type of cannabis she needed was difficult to obtain in Utah. It was allowed under Proposition 2, but not the legislature's bill. What the legislature did was put a screeching halt on that, at least being able to do it legally. Had to leave my terminally ill wife at home chasing something so she could medicate. All because he couldn't make it anymore. The plaintiffs in the Proposition 2 case say they're determined to fight the state and see the lawsuit through. They're urging people to step up and hold lawmakers accountable. Don't walk away. Don't you dare walk away. We need you still. That's exactly the point. It is broken. You know where it starts? Putting elected officials in who will not be these types of um, individuals we have in office now. Kazarian says he isn't going to back down. I'm going to turn it up to 11. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go spinal tap. The Utah Attorney General's office recently moved the Prop 2 lawsuit to federal court. Truce and the Epilepsy Association of Utah are fighting to have it moved back to the state court level. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.